Hi guys, welcome back to the House of Hughes and welcome to Beckham's recovery vlog. It is the morning after surgery and as you guys can see, our little man is doing so, so well. He is all cuddled up in mommy and daddy's bed. Should we tell them how you did last night? What do you think? Yeah, you feeling kind of somber? It is getting close to nap time today and I think he is gonna take a really good nap. Blakely is out in the family room and in the kitchen with Hunter, so she is being watched, of course. But we decided when we got home last night to have Beckham sleep in our bed, mostly because with the queen size bed that we have in his room, there's just too much room for him to wiggle around and end up on his belly. And so we sandwiched him right between Hunter and I on the bed and he slept amazing. He literally did not wake up one time and he went the entire night without pain medicine and we've only given him one dose of Tylenol today so far and this has been his demeanor. He is doing incredible. We've just given him this little toy to play with so he's been having fun biting on that and playing with that, transferring it between his hands. And then we also have our TV going. So he is watching Spark Abilities and his little shows on the big screen. And then when it's nap time, I will just turn on the fan, I will close our blinds, and then I will turn off the TV so that he can rest. Later today, we should have someone from Home Health coming out and they will be delivering all of Beckham's G-Tube supplies. So with his supplies, they'll bring syringes, a pump, etc. I'm gonna show you guys everything so you kind of get the ins and outs of what it's like to have a little baby on a G-tube. Well, I guess you're not a baby anymore, huh? You're my little toddler. I don't know, you're always gonna be mommy's baby, huh? Yeah, can you guys hear Blakely at the door? <gasps> Did you wanna say hi? Can you tell everybody how good you're doing? Do you have the highest pain tolerance in the whole world? Beckham's G-Tube site does look really, really good. They actually let us go home from the hospital a little bit early yesterday because his belly was handling his G-Tube feed really well. They gave him one continuous feed. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my goodness, you are so smart. Were you reaching for your toy? Can you get it? You can get it. I know you can get it, baby. I'm gonna let you grab it because you're so smart and I know you can. Yeah. Are you talking? Yeah, look. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we'll let you play around with that, huh, baby? Are you slipping a little? Here, let's get you situated. Here, go. Is that a little bit better? Yeah. Let's stick that into your bum. There you go. Is that a little bit better? Perfect. As I was saying, they actually let us go home from the hospital a little bit early yesterday. They gave him a continuous feed starting at one o'clock p.m. and it ended at 5.30 p.m. A continuous feed just means that from the pump slash bag into his G-tube and into his belly, they have a really slow feed continuously going in at a really, really slow rate. So later in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about his fees. I'm gonna show you all of the equipment. And of course, I'll just keep you updated on how our little babe is doing so that you can hang out with him while we're recovering. I'm sure that he would love the company. Bubba, did you slip down again? You know what, I need to get this little guy situated for nap time. Him and Blake, they're both gonna go down for a nap right now. And I think he'll really do well because he did so awesome with sleeping last night, which was a huge relief. So we're gonna let this little guy take a nap and we'll catch up with you guys in a minute. All right, I've got my little Beckham all cuddled up in mommy and daddy's bed. So I just have two stacks of pillows on both sides of him so that he can't roll. And I'll turn the fan on and I bet he will be out within 10 minutes, huh baby? Have a good nap, we'll catch up with you in a minute. Look who it is. Princess. Princess. Oh, oh. Did you come in to tell your brother good night? I think you both need to go down for a little nap. Yeah. Yeah, say night night right there. Night night. Hello. Oh jeez. Oh, we better go. <laughs> oh. We better let him sleep. Did you guys miss me in the last vlog? <laughs> Blakely's back and better than ever. No, sissy. Sis. Sis, we've talked about this. Blakely. Perfect. Love that for mommy. 
Okay, I want to show you guys exactly how I'm looking at Beckham. We have a camera in my master bedroom so I can see him and hear him through my phone. So that is super nice because I do have to have my bedroom door closed and the majority of the time Beckham and Blake, we do have to be separated. So I have a camera on Beckham at all times so I'm literally just popping back and forth between our bedroom and our family room and kitchen. But we have Beckham like really secure in our bed and so things are like looking really, really good and he's done really well. And Hunter's also home with me today. We also have help from my sister-in-law, Kate, and my mom can help if I need it. And so I think we're gonna be totally fine. I actually think the next two weeks are gonna be like relatively easy. I mean, obviously we'll see how it goes, but I definitely have high hopes seeing how well he transitioned last night from hospital to home. So while Beckham and Blakely are asleep, I'm really going to take advantage of this time and get as much editing done as I can. Obviously, while the kids are awake, I'm not going to be doing anything unless it's filming and that involves me like staring right at them, obviously. So I'm going to be really careful with how I prioritize my work these next couple weeks. All of my editing and anything that's like hands-on without the kids is going to be done when they're napping or in bed for the night. And while they're awake, I just wanna be super present and here with them, especially because I know Beckham is super tough but there's no way he's like that comfortable because he obviously just got surgery. So the recovery time is actually pretty short. I mean, I was pretty impressed by two weeks. At that point, we'll be able to experiment with putting him on his belly a little bit, but I'll just kind of see what his tolerance is. And of course, keep you guys updated. I'll probably film like the first time I try to put him on his belly and just kind of see how he does. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is literally pouring rain outside and I love it. It's such a vibe. I've low key always been so obsessed with the rain. So I want to show you guys. Oh my gosh. I have not seen it rain this hard in so long. One hundred percent that rain is gonna wake the kids up. Let's go check on Beckham really quick. Oh my heck, he's so cute. He's so adorable. I can also see on my lens. I've got some stuff going on there, so I really hope you guys haven't been seeing it the entire video. Let me just clean you guys off really quick. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how traumatizing. If you guys have like marks on the lens, not you, but I mean like if you suffered from me having marks on the lens the entire video so far, I am so sorry. But I don't wanna refilm it because it's more authentic if you guys get the first original round of filming. <laughs> but I am going to make myself a nice little coffee. Hunter took the cute cup, I think. I wanna drink out of the cup with my kids' faces on it. I've shown you guys that, haven't I? Oh my word, if I haven't, you're gonna die. Oh yes, it's in the dishwasher and the dishes are clean. Look how stinking cute that is. Like, are you kidding me? How could you ever have a bad day when that's what you're drinking out of? I literally just Googled the shop on Etsy and that's how I found it and made it. <laughs> that just got delivered. I mean, exciting. Also a tiny bit stressful, I'm not gonna lie. This is bringing back some of the memories of when we brought back... <laughs> I was saying, this is bringing back some of the memories of when we brought Beckham home from the NICU and obviously the G-tube was like a huge part of that. Sorry, Hunter is just putting in a load of laundry if you guys hear that, I apologize. But this is a pump. And I think in this box are obviously just like the supplies for Beckham's G-Tube. So we're gonna open them up, kind of take a look at them together. And then Hunter and I are actually going to have a FaceTime with a nurse that works at the home health company that provides this medical supplies. And she's going to teach us how to use everything. 
Most of it will hopefully just be a little refresher. As I was in the hospital yesterday, like cleaning the G-tube and whatnot and talking to one of the nurses, a lot of it came back to me and I was like, oh yes, I remember that I need to do this and do that. But I obviously need a refresher because he hasn't had a G-tube in for two years. So it is really nice that they just deliver it straight to our door. And I was talking to Allie, she's our home health nurse. She told me that I can actually text every month when I need more supplies, which is really nice because when Beckham came home from the NICU, I had to call in every month and it was just kind of difficult. And you always have to time everything perfectly because they also deliver the food that we're giving Beckham. So let's go ahead and open this up. I think this is the pump. And like I said, this is the supplies, but we'll see. It kind of worked out perfectly for it to rain so hard today because I think Hunter was going to stay home with us either way but it's kind of nice that he wouldn't have been able to work anyways and can be home to, of course, help me with Beckham. But honestly, Beckham is like such a rock star, you wouldn't even know that he just had surgery. <laughs> yep, this is the pump. Oh, the good old days. This is gonna be good. It's gonna make our babe gain weight, which is what we want. It's kind of hard, you know, it's kind of a lot of emotions. Like, obviously, we are so grateful for medical care and the fact that there's even an option to get a G-tube. I mean, can you even imagine if that wasn't an option? I don't know what we would do. But it's obviously a little bit emotional, you know? It's, it's kind of sad too, and I'm not gonna lie about that. But we're not gonna focus on that part, we're just gonna focus on the good. I'll set this up in a second for you guys, but this is basically just a pole that holds Beckham's like bag of food, if you guys think of like NIV. If the bag was up here, then like the cord hangs down and goes into his belly and hooks up to his G-tube. So I'll kind of show you guys more in detail about how this works in a minute. All right, yes, this is all of the supplies that we need. So some of this stuff we will need to refill every month and then some of it we can just use for good. So this is like a little backpack if we ever need to feed him on the go. And very, very fortunately, Beckham will be moving to bolus feeds, which is like a very quick feed. I am going to be explaining that more in depth in more videos. So if there's anything I say that you don't understand, don't worry, an explanation is coming either in this video or my next video is actually going to be a full in-depth explanation of Beckham's new nutrition plan, which will answer a lot of your guys' questions. Here's a few of the things that we do need to refill every month. These are bags. Now this is for a continuous feed, which is what he's going to be doing for the first two weeks meaning the feed is in this bag and it hangs from that pole that I just showed you guys right here and it will go into his belly over a very slow rate. Then we have these big syringes which are going to be our best friends. I'm super excited about these because this will just literally twist on to the G-tube and we'll be able to push a feed through that and it will take basically no time. It will essentially be like almost an instant feed or just over like the course of five minutes. We will work our way up to this, but I will of course explain that in more detail in tomorrow's video. Then it looks like they just gave us some information that we'll probably need and I'm sure that the nurse will also explain more over FaceTime. They also gave us like the cleaning supplies that we need, which is basically just these little pads that we can put around the G-tube if there's any drainage these first couple weeks of surgery. And then they also gave us this tape. I believe this is tape, yes, that doesn't hurt at all when we pull it off and we use that to secure his G-tube on his belly, which I will show you guys. I am gonna show you guys cleaning Beckham's G-tube later today because that is something that I do once a day and I basically just take a little Q-tip, I clean around it and then I bandage it back in place and I'll kind of show you guys those details. I'll have Hunter film it while I clean it tonight. I am going to be putting all of this in our bedroom, but Beckham is still asleep right now, so we'll just wait until he wakes up. Okay, so little Baba just woke up. Did you have a good nap? You too. Oh yeah, are you hungry? Do you want to eat? Yeah, do you want to eat? You say hi to you hey, Bubba's. Perfect. Okay, so with the supplies that they gave us, they didn't actually deliver the food that he's getting mm. because I believe they have to overnight that to us tonight. So we should have it by tomorrow. But babe, what do you think? I'm kind of just thinking about giving him formula through the tube. Whatever, you're, whatever you think, maybe that's a good idea so yeah. that we can utilize like the actual G-tube some. 
Right, I'm gonna feed him my mouth, obviously, but the purpose of using the G-tube is we basically need to get his belly used to it, make sure he can tolerate it so we can like work up to faster feeds. But his nutritionist at the hospital told me different things that are equivalent to the food they're going to be sending me through his home health program. So I can just easily make sure it matches and then we should be totally good to go because we don't have to use that specific food. So I'm gonna feed this little guy just a normal feed by mouth and we'll change his little diaper and then we'll kind of get him just comfortable and let him keep chilling. And I think I might let him sit in the chair outside in the living room so he gets kind of a change of scenery while Blakely is still asleep. And then we'll kind of figure out what we're gonna do with the G-tube. I'm just gonna have it beside the bed basically and it will be coming in and feeding him for basically the entire day for the next week. And that's again, just to work up his tolerance. It's not gonna be a lot of food. It's only gonna be 500 calories. Once again, the very specific nutrition facts and his specific feeds I'll be going over in tomorrow's video. And the G-tube itself, we also have to run it because the balloon in the G-tube itself has to like set in under his skin, right? They said something about that. That's why we can't do bolus right off the bat. All right. Like yeah. Signing off. I think he took a poop, so it's good thing Oh, told. good job. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's do something. I'm obviously not going to show you guys his diaper change, but I do want to show you how I have him dressed. So I felt like this oversized onesie was obviously comfortable, but I did need something to really hold the G-tube in place underneath in case he does roll. So I actually just put a little short sleeve onesie underneath him. And as you can see, just that little bolt, that's his G-tube right there. So it's tight, but it's not like so tight that it's uncomfortable. But look at this cute little, so little, so loved, so happy. So true, huh baby? Okay, we've got Beckham set up with some toys, don't we, babe? This is the perfect little chair for him because it does strap him in, but it has like a cute little belt around his waist that's soft so it doesn't hurt his G-tube. So we're gonna let him play with some toys. I've kind of got him propped up like a little table here. And we're gonna let him play with some toys before Sissy wakes up and tries to attack him. Here, baby. Here. There you go. Perfect. Look who came to play! Is it Auntie Kate? Hi. <laughs> He's always startled by the camera. He's so distracted. We were just hanging out, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute, Baba. You look like a ten-year-old right now. Okay, guys. So Kate was just telling me. Oh my gosh, this made me so happy. Let me explain. So Kate, you work with kids that. Do they have a, well we probably don't want to say they're specific. They, I work with special needs children, so I'm a pediatric home health nurse. Yes, I've been telling Kate to start a YouTube channel for how long? <laughs> Since the day I started yeah. mine. <laughs> Months now. Kate would be amazing because although her and Chandler don't have kids yet, <laughs> um, she is amazing with children like Beckham and any children that have disabilities. She actually works with G-tubes as well. So I was just saying I'm so comforted that she'll know how to help us with Beckham if I get confused because heaven knows that's gonna happen. <laughs> so Kate will come to the rescue. Yeah. Bubba's like, thank goodness she's here. <laughs> In the event they both get confused, I'll teach them both. Hunter has literally no idea. You guys, I, what did you ask yesterday in the hospital when I was like, oh my word, the fact that you had to ask that question. <laughs> What well, did you number say? One, I don't know if I appreciate your tone. And number two, it feels like you're saying something <laughs> negative about your significant other, not something positive. Oh my gosh. The goal is to raise each other up, Rachel. Not Hunter, have you said anything negative about me? Not in the last seven years. Seven it's years seven since <laughs> I'm such a liar. Not in that amount of time. I haven't in that amount of time about you. I've said negative things, some, like occasionally, maybe like once a month, I'll complain about the weather. 
Or I'll like burn some toast. Let me tell you. Do you guys see this man? Hold on, let me do the zoom. Do you see this man? Most critical, stubborn, oh my goodness. hot, <laughs> sexy man. Oh. We're kidding. Hey, gorgeous, hey, beautiful, perfect dog that I have nothing negative to say about. <laughs> Hunter's perfect, we all know. Everyone comment how much you love him. <laughs> Oh my heck, Chloe, calm down. <gasps> when I picked her up yesterday, my gosh. <laughs> she was so excited to see me and I was like, you know who I am? Oh, of course she does. Thank you. Kate picked up Chloe because Chloe got groomed yesterday while Beckham was in the hospital. So like I said, thank goodness for Kate. <laughs> We're over here drowning. Kate comes to the rescue. I tried to do my best, huh? Oh, cutie. Oh, 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 cutie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who's awake eating a chicken nugget? You guys, Blakely slept for three and a half hours. Kind of crazy. Happy parents. <laughs> you did so good, babe. Yeah, you playing with Auntie Kate. She's like, this isn't my aunt. I don't this lady. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. crazy, crazy, crazy. Auntie Kate got Beckham all set up on his first continuous feed. So we actually have it all set up right over there on that pump. That's Beckham's little camera we're watching him on in the corner. But Kate and I are gonna take Blakely and go run a couple errands and Daddy is gonna stay here with Beckham. Dad's actually gonna come in here and physically be with Beckham just in case he throws up. He shouldn't and should do great. But of course we wanna be 100% careful and have literal physical eyes on him the entire time he does his first continuous feed here at home. So you are gonna do amazing, baby. I'm so proud of you. I think Chloe's trying to get out of here because she can hear everyone hanging out outside. Yeah, you just chilling. We've got sis here, so supportive. <laughs> Beckham, Beckham's getting his tube feed still, so he's just chilling. We're watching some TV. And Blakely is chowing down on this turkey stick that we got from Trader Joe's. Sissy, can I have a bite? Can I have a bite? <laughs> She's like, no, I am not about to share with you. Here, can mommy have a bite? I know you can hear me. Give mommy a bite. Thank you. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, we're back with our little Beckham boy, huh, baby? He has just been so full of energy today. It seems like he's doing so well. He is still on his continuous feed, but we actually added six more ounces. So he will get a total of 10 ounces of water mixed with formula today. This is just temporary while we wait for his actual food to get here. They're gonna be calling me tomorrow to confirm exactly when we're doing that, and if it's not gonna be overnight shipped to us, then I'm just gonna go to the store and pick something up with an equal caloric value and fiber value, which is what we were instructed to do. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. Beckham also had a bowel movement today, which obviously wouldn't you know, go in depth about, but I did want to mention that just because he's coming off anesthesia, his body is functioning and working great. He's digesting all of his food. He did eat by mouth today as well. We were also able to speed up the rate just a little bit of his pump, which was also a really, really good thing. And as long as Hunter or I has been in here with him, then we do let Blakely come in and she's actually been really good. We're obviously like really on top of her though, just to be super careful. But honestly, you would never even know that Beckham just had surgery yesterday. It's crazy. He has the highest pain tolerance. We have been giving him his Tylenol and ibuprofen, but we are really only administering it every like six hours versus every three and just kind of on an as needed basis because he really hasn't needed the full dose that they prescribed him. I'm definitely anticipating that he's gonna have a really good night, huh baby? Yeah. And I'm just really proud of him. You know, he is so strong. I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about my feelings, my feels, I know what's new, 
but I do want to do it in a different room because I don't want Beckham to hear it. I know that he can't necessarily understand what I'm saying, but I know he feels my energy. So I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the PTSD and feelings that I've had, but I am going to be doing that in a different video just because Hunter is not available to come into the room right now and I don't want to leave little Mr. Beckham alone. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that. And like I said, tomorrow's video is going to be all about his nutrition, exactly what we're feeding him, all of that good stuff. I'm feeling so confident that this was the right decision, even though it was a hard decision, obviously, but it's definitely the right one. And I really appreciate all of the comments, the love, the support. You guys have no idea how much it means to us. And I think it's really cool that someday I'm gonna be able to show Beckham all of these comments. You know, that's something that I really want you guys to keep in mind is that every time you tell Beckham something and it's so positive and so uplifting, look at him, see, he can just tell. He's gonna be able to read that someday. And I'm so glad that I'm gonna be able to show him and tell him how much support and love that he had from people all around the world. So again, we wanna thank you guys for being a part of our community. And Baba, what do we wanna remind them today? What do we wanna remind them? Do we wanna tell them to be brave just like you? Yeah, can you say be brave like Beckham? Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. He's asking me to turn the TV back on. So we're gonna wrap up this video so this little guy can get back to relaxing. Mama's gonna sit down and have some dinner with him. We love you guys and we will catch you in the next vlog. Bye.